Hey guys, with Memorial Day coming up, I have a napkin design for you. Find me a, um, I need some lines. So I think I'm gonna use a square and uh, some stars on this design. Let me change the size of my square. Let's see if I got enough squares. I'll need six. I have seven, so delete one of these. All right, let's take my squares and make them into lines. Um, nice long lines. Okay, I am going to make this these all the same length, which is uh, about 8.3 and 0.153 for the width, so that they're all the same. just gonna go ahead and change this instead of doing it manually I'll just change it to match the lines so I'll have six alrighty then let me put them in some sort of design here them so that they're spaced evenly. That's why I like the grid that's on design space. I can use the the blocks and the lines. It helps when you're trying to line up things. Okay, so now I'm going to put three stars excuse me three different color stars on here so I don't need to duplicate my stars Alrighty. and let's take this one and make it uh, red and this one white and this one will select the blue Alrighty, that's pretty. Now, my lines. I'm gonna do the same thing for my lines. White in between. This should be blue. And the next one this should be red. Red. What did I do? Blue. Red, 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 Denise. Red. There we go. White, and then the next one, blue. There we go. Blue. All right. Let's add my stars. Randomly, randomly put them here. Okay. Select all of it, and. Go ahead and flatten. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna duplicate it so it's a little bigger. And even that out a little bit so that, there we go. Select all this and attach. Cool, now I have a bigger piece. Alrighty. Size is okay. Let's see how big I can get this. Should be able to get it in the link at least six, seven, six, seven, something like that. Let's see where we go. We'll go with this. Oh, and go back, yeah. 
about six, seven. So I wish I could do this on larger paper. I'm gonna do some research and see if I can find out how to print on larger paper because um, I do have some 11 by 17 sublimation paper. But I don't know whether I can ever print on it. All right, so we send this to the printer. It's eight and a half by 11. And you know what? I'm gonna print two of these. It's another thing. Does this black box always have to be there? Mm, let me know in the comments if that needs to continue to be there or if I can remove it. All right, let's send it on to the printer. I never do bleed. I don't know what that means. So one day I will to check it out. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make two copies of this. Alrighty. Okay, here's my napkin. And here are my sheets. Those are really cute, I like those. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put them in each corner, opposite corners of each other and put that blue line down the very edge, or whichever line it is at the time, blue or red, I guess I could turn that around, it could be red, but we're gonna put the line down the edge on both corners. So let me heat up my napkin. And this is a 100% polyester napkin, or poly, yes, a 100% polyester napkin, and um, it is set on 360 at 120 seconds. So it's nice and ready. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this corner a little straighter. When you put designs on things, you, you want to have your edges as straight as you can possibly get them with stuff like this. All right, now, I'm gonna put it on the corners, get them straight. I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna turn this sideways too. So I could get the whole piece. If you notice, I had some of the piece on the butcher paper. Boy, that is pretty. That's really pretty. Came out really vivid. So I'm gonna have to turn this paper over because I don't want it to be on the back of my napkin. Let's do the other corner. Okay, I've got both corners done. Now the other corner, I did not heat my piece up, plus I got a black line that was still on there. Jeez. That's why I don't like those borders that's on there. But I forgot to heat up my corner, the last corner, like I did the first corner. No, the colors are still nice and pretty. So let's do a napkin fold here. Face down, points in. Okay, instructions for this fold, this napkin fold. I do have a uh, video on this and I will put the link in the description box. So that was one way you could have folded it out with this design. And let's do it another way and see a different design. Well, a difference in the way the design is shown, but it's still gonna be the same fold. You can press this if you want to. And this one has a star to it. 
Here's the first fold and the second fold. Just different ways that the design is displayed. Here's another design. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on um, this napkin design and uh, a few folds to use with this napkin. All of them are neat and easy to do and very nice to use for, you know, the three holidays. I like this fold because it looks like wings, like the Air Force wing pin or the um, jump master pin, maybe, for the Army as you have Memorial Day and Veterans Day and the 4th of July. And if you got a buffet going on, you can always use this one. Slide your silverware in there or your flatware. Okay, that's all of them. Thank you for taking out time in your schedule, your evening, to view my channel. I appreciate it. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.